Hello Libra, <clears throat> thank you so much for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all doing okay at this time, wherever you are on the planet. Um, it's been a lot of rain here in Middle England. A um, lot of rain, wind, but the sun's come out now, so quite a, a variety um, of, of weather. Um, Libra, um, I'm going to do this reading for you to look at your energies between the 2nd to the 8th of November um, or thereabouts. Um, universal timing is fluid Libra so it could um, be any time around those dates and a little bit beyond, a few days beyond. Um, I've already pre-shuffled the cards on the table so I just need to do um, a final shuffle of the Tower of Dreams. We'll see what these energies have to say. Whoops. Well that, well, that all went wrong, so let me just do it again. Find a way of talking to you. So um, at the heart of your reading, we've got this is your energy or, um, or it's a situation. Um, and then uh, this, this card is about what you're thinking about or what you already know. Um, and then the card here is at the root. This is the hidden influences um, that, that are around and you're probably not fully aware of them. And, and then you have the past influences and then an outcome card going forward. And then um, guidance from the universal energies here. Now, at the bottom of the deck we have the Five of Coins. Um, and this is when we're feeling left out in the cold, feeling separate, feeling a sense of lack, if you like, not having enough um, in some area. Um, got, there's five pentacles there, and this, this is suggesting that um, within the building there, there is plenty, um, but, but the energy, what you're feeling is, there isn't, uh, you haven't got enough. Um, it's, it's, it's an energy. All right, so we'll just do a final reading of the Lightseer's Tarot for you. And lay those um, on the top in the same order. There we go. Now at the bottom of this deck we have the Eight of Cups. Um, and this is when somebody is having to walk away from something. You can see the cup, there's a cup here, a giant cup, and there's something burning in the cup. So it, it's either something that um, is needed to be cleared, it, there's a burning happening, that's something that um, does not serve a purpose any longer, so um, there's a need to walk away from it. Um, but let's see. Let's see what, what comes out in the reading. So at the heart of your reading, at Libra, we have the Temperance card and the Ace of Cups. Um, the Temperance is about balance and moderation, um, peace, um, tranquility, if you like. But it's it's very much about balance. And um, here we, have, we can see the angel uh, and put up in the universe, you can see the planets all around. Because this is very much, um, it's quite a spiritual, universal energy. Um, and uh, this angel is now trying to achieve balance, as you can see, between masculine and feminine energies. We've got the fire energy here, which is masculine, the sun energy. Um, uh, wands energy um, and then the rainbow is, is, is then connecting to um, the water which is more feminine em emotional energy the cups energy um, but of course uh, the blue reminds me also of the mind which is about the swords energy so so it, this is about trying to achieve balance in, in some way so trying to bring these energies um, into balance um, but it, it is it is about moderation as well. And um, the Ace of Cups is the clarifier here for the Temperance card. Um, 
the aces are about um, new beginnings, new opportunities. The cups are love and relationships or whatever is meaningful for your heart. So generally the Ace of Cups is about um, a new offer or a new beginning to do what's meaningful for your heart. It could be a new offer of love, um, an offer of, of romance perhaps. But it could be anything to do with what's meaningful for the heart, what makes your heart sing. Um, you know, some people, uh, what make, would make their heart sing would be um, having um, a new pet, for example. Um, or, uh, far, you know, getting back in touch with a, an old friend. So, you know, uh, or it can be by the deepening of a current relationship. But but with, in this particular deck, I'm very drawn to the hands holding the singing bowl um, and the heart in the centre. So for me, this is about looking after your heart, taking care of your heart, protecting your heart for, for, for whatever from well, whatever reason. So it could be protecting your heart as you go forward anew. Um, um, so it could be that, or it could could just be, could be something else. Um, and this is a clarifier for temperance. So as you are, um, you know, needing to get things into balance and to, uh, to achieve harmony, um, I feel between masculine and, and feminine energies, um, you're having to protect your heart. You need to protect your heart. So um, this is at the centre of your reading, Libra. So let's see where we're going with that. So what you're thinking about, what you already know, we've got the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Um, the Six of Cups is thinking about people who have been in our lives for a long time. It could be family members. We have a child here. Um, so it could be thinking about a child, um, you know, that's been around with us for a long time. Um, and then the Queen of Cups is um, very much uh, to do with um, the emotions and the heart centre. The Cups are about um, love and relationships and what's meaningful for our heart. We've already had the Ace of Cups, haven't we, um, at the centre of the reading. Um, so the Ace of Cups... Um, you're thinking about your this now this the sorry the Queen of Cups is either this a part of yourself Libra, so Libra you are of the air you are of the swords energy, but we've all got the different elements within us that come to the fore when they need to, so you know although you you are of the mind a logical thinker deep thinker, you can also tap into the Queen of Cups energy into your heart center particularly. Um, if you're thinking about a family member at this time. Um, so um, so this could be representing yourself, Libra, tapping into your um, emotions and your heart centre, um, while also, um, you know, drawing down the messages coming down for you from the universe and, and, and absorbing the moon energy. Because Libra, today, um, I'm doing this reading on the 31st of October, it's Halloween, um, but but e e more importantly, um, it's the full moon, a harvest moon. So we're we're all, we are uh, drawing down these full moon energies at this time. They're very influential, um, and you know, with a full moon, it's about cycles um, that come and go, um, completions of of things, learning from the past, ready for going forward anew. Um, so the Queen of Cups energy now if, if this isn't you um, Libra this is something somebody that you're thinking about this is somebody that's been in your life for a long time that you're thinking about um, who, have, who has this um, Cups has this Cups energy Now, the, um, these are the hidden influences uh, around you at this time. Libra, we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Hierophant. And the Knight of Swords, this is a, the Swords are about communication as well as um, the mind. But the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight in the tarot deck. And he, del he's, he delivers uh, messages, um, important messages, and he comes in very quickly. So there's a hidden influence, 
there's something you're not aware of at this time which is about a message coming in very quickly for you um a communication coming in very quickly and the clarifier is the hierophant and this is about true blessings true universal blessings um I would suggest that this is good news coming in um, that you're not aware of at the moment. Um, but it's a blessing from the universe. Um, so this message, um, is, it's, it's, it's a positive message. It's a message that um, is, truly will make your heart, will make your heart sing here. All right, so th this is a, a hidden influence. Now, what's a past influence? So the past influence, we've got the Nine of Coins and we've got the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Coins, I call my independent woman card. Somebody who's self-sufficient, um, very comfortable in her own skin, um, manages her own affairs, if you like, doesn't need anybody else to um, manage her affairs for her. So um, very independent card, um, somebody who works hard um, and is able to uh, reap the rewards of other hard work but it's very independent card um, and then the three of pentacles is when we uh, pool our resources with others um, to pull our skills if you like to create something um, new and something you quite unique and special um, so the, the, this is this is a past influence, so something in the past about um, somebody being very independent, um, but um, working with others uh, in the creation of something um, quite special and unique. And then the outcome going forward, um, we have the Justice card and we've got Temperance again. So we had Temperance at the heart of the reading, Libra. Um, you know, from the other deck of, from the um, Tarot of Dreams cards. Um, and here we have the Temperance again that's come out from the Lightseers um, pack. Now, um, the just the Justice card, um, this is you, Libra. This is, this is your energy um, within the Major Arcana. This is a Major Arcana card. And Justice is, uh, represents yourself. Um, you are the scales and, and your energy is of, of justice. So um, here you are going forward, Libra. Um, but not just that. So the justice about, is about the scales needing to be balanced now going forward. Um, the scales will be balanced. Um, it could be suggesting there's been an imbalance in the past or an injustice in the past perhaps um but now that's going to be put right it's going to be um the, the scales are going to become balanced um and justice will will are going to put something right sometimes this is about a legal situation so for some of you libra this will be um uh, an outcome of a legal situation so justice going is going to be served the clarifier is, as I say, this temperance again, and you can see again um, a need. The young man, the angel, um, is now endeavouring to balance the masculine energies, um, so the sun energy with the moon energy, masculine with the feminine. Um, so it's about moderation and balance, having patience also uh, here. So, um, you know, having temperance going forward um, as justice is served and justice is seen to be done. It, this, this can also represent a karmic situation. Right. All right, so that's in the um, outcome position going forward. And the guidance from the universe is the tower and the nine of pentacles. So we had the nine of pentacles. It's called coins in the tower of dreams, but it's the same energy. It's the pentacles energy. Um, and that was in the past influence. So here we have now going forward. Um, well, no, sorry. Sorry, that was going forward. This is guidance, um, universal guidance for you. So we have the Tower and the Nine of Pentacles again. So the Tower is when something is going to be cleared. Um, it, it's a bolt of lightning from the universe. That this Tower is already crumbling. Uh, it's built on faulty foundations. So... There's, there's something that uh, the bolt of lightning is going to come down to raise the tower to the ground, to clear it, 
ready for going forward. Um, so um, it, it's, it's a gift of love from the universe because something needs to be cleared and sorted um, before you can go forward. All right, and again, it, the clarifier is the Knight of Pentacles. So it's the same energy as what the past influences was. So I feel this is referring to somebody, and I think it's perhaps somebody um, that you're thinking about, Libra. Um, it could be a child um, or a grown-up child, somebody that's achieved independence. And has the pick of the crop now. You can see she's she's um, put something in the bin here. She's put a giant pentacle in the bin here. She's done with that. She's finished with that that energy, and she's now got her pick of the crop. It, these are all uh, pentacles that she's earned. All right, that she, you know, that um, that are hers uh, to reap. Um, but first of all, um, there has to be a clearing. There's got to be a clearing of some sort that, and it can, may come in the form of a bit of a, a, a bit of a shock or a bit of a surprise, um, to a, a greater or a lesser degree. Could be something you hear or an event that 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 knocks you back a little bit. But remember, um, this is something that needs to happen. So you know, please don't worry about this, because this has to happen for um this uh, this energy this independent woman um or the independent person um to be able to go forward um and be able to reap that which she's worked so hard for and waited for all right um i'm going to take one more card for you from um the sacred traveler before I do, I'm just going to, going to do a very quick recap. I'm just being, I've been asked to do a, re, a quick recap for you, Libra. So at the heart of your reading, we had temperance, didn't we? Um, and the Ace of Cups, which is about protecting your heart, looking after your heart, protecting your heart. I feel that's what that one particularly means. And then what you're thinking about is um, somebody from the past. Um, and, and there's a child's face and I, th I think it's a child um, it could be a child or it could be a grown up child but or, or it could be somebody in the family somebody close or it could be a close friend but somebody um, that's been in your life for a while that you're thinking about um, and uh, this and and that that the child or the person you're thinking about has either got the Queen of Cups energy got the Queen of Cups energy or this is your energy um, where you are drawing down um, the moon energy here, um, the feminine moon energy, uh, down to your heart centre. All right, and sort of meditating. Um, and, um, this, you know, very much in touch with your emotions, really. So it's either yourself, Libra, or this is um, the person that, that you're thinking about. Okay, um, uh, then the, the root influences, the hidden influences are the Knight of Swords. So something um, is going, a message is going to be delivered that's going to make your heart sing. There's a blessing from the universe, so really, really positive energy. And then the past influences, we have um, the independent person here, and they're but working with others um, in the creation of something um, quite special. Um, and then going forward. In the outcome, we have the justice, so the scales being balanced. And again, the temperance about achieving balance in some area. So balance within the scales and balance from the universe, balancing masculine and feminine energies, um, having patience, temperance. Okay, going forward. And then, of course, the guidance from the universe is just to say um, about a tower moment um, coming in. Um, or it could have already happened. This tower moment, this clearing could have already happened. Um, but, it, but what the universe is saying, it's something that's that had to happen or it's got to happen um, for this um, the Nine of Pentacles energy, whoever this refers to, um, to be able to go forward um, and um, be very successful within her own skin. So let's... Let's see what the Sacred Traveller would like to say, Oracle card. So, could we have one more message, please? Um, one more message, please, for Libra. 
to round this reading up. One more message, please, for Libra. 2nd to the 8th of November. One more message, please. Okay, thank you so much. We have solitude here. Um, in silence, peace prevails. So, um, I mean, globally, the, the COVID situation is, is picking up a pace, isn't it? And I know here in the UK, we're, we've, we've got um, a further lockdown that's going to be um, introduced today, ready to start tomorrow. So, further restrictions. Um, so, and I know globally, um, uh, this is happening, isn't it? So it's not a surprise, really. So this could be referring to this, this imposed solitude, if you like. But for yourself, Libra, it's going to bring in peace. So it's saying silence and peace prevail. So you can, it's a very peaceful picture, um, meditative picture. You've got the, the owl of wisdom on your shoulder there, which is about the thought, deep thinking. Um, clarity of thought but but gaining peace and you see this woman she's looking into looks like a pool of water or um, a big vessel of water which is about the emotions um all right so you know in this time of solitude that that's that's coming in um libra this is either very close to home for you something to do with your own personal situation or it or it reflects um, more um, more community and global situation um, but the silence is going to suit you I feel some of you I mean this reading won't resonate with everybody but um, you're going to find the peace and quiet um, very soothing all right all right Libra probably helping to calm your mind because your mind is, is very active a lot of the time. So something's going to um, be very soothing for you. All right, Libra. Um, if you haven't already looked at my full moon readings that I've put out, I put them out a few days ago. But if you look look on my um, site, on the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, Wolf Moon Tarot, um, you will find for your sign, Libra, the full moon reading, that, it, that it's at its fullest strength today, but it will resonate out for a few more days now. Um, but it will be relevant from the time um, I actually put the reading out because the energies were already building up. So I, I just think you'll might, you might find that an interesting um, view, Libra, um, reading, and you probably will see some synchronicities from that reading to this reading because the full moon it's a very strong full moon this time all right um, i'm going to leave it there then libra um thank you so much for joining me i'd like to give a big thank you and, and really appreciate all of my subscribers um that that uh, are supporting this quite new channel um but for anybody just stopping by um, and taking the time to um, watch um, this video. Thank you so much. You're, you're all welcome. And I do hope you can join me again. So bye-bye for now, Libra. Um, I hope, to, hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye.